everybody, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and tonight is Thursday so you know what that means, it's pizza night. Tonight we're having French bread pizzas made at home for supper and Rick asked if we could make cheeseburger pizzas so we thought we would share this with you. So we're going to make a couple bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, bacon cheeseburger French bread pizzas. made a couple that we're gonna put on the same pan I have a sauteed mushroom and a pepperoni and cheese going on here and then we're gonna do the other half of the French loaf with the cheeseburger pizza now this is just a simple loaf of French bread that we got this morning and it's yesterday so I got a dollar off and that's always a bonus mm -hmm. I just split it down the middle and then I cut it in half easy peasy and then we're going to slice these up when we're done so everybody gets a piece. Um, all we're going to do, we're, I like to, when I make my pizzas, I like to put the sauce down. And this is just a basic uh, pizza sauce that I make. Um, I actually made this earlier in the week because um, my the people that I do the seminars for at the uh, country store, they had some tomatoes that were going south. They couldn't sell anymore. And she said... Henry, don't throw those away. Noreen can do something with them. So they sent me home with a lovely box of tomatoes, and I made a big old pot of sauce. And this is a little on the thicker side, so it's perfect for pizza. We actually had it earlier in the week. I made some chicken rigatoni in the pressure cooker, and it was delicious. So I'm putting down a healthy bed of shredded cheese, and this is a mixture of whole milk mozzarella and sharp New York cheddar. Now... I'm going to use my hands, so, you know, don't be alarmed. Oh, bonus. <laughs> bonus. And I like to load up. That's why it's on a cutting board. So. I like to load up my, my French bread pizzas. I mean, I, I think that, you know, pizza should have... A generous amount of toppings. So this is just about six slices of bacon that I browned off before I cooked the meat. There's no way around making a mess when you do these, so so you'll just have to get it cleaned up. Monica will just have to deal with that. That's all. No, she won't. It won't make it won't get it cleaned up. Yeah, I know. Are you my cleaner? <laughs> okay. Now, because I am a firm believer that when you put a topping on a pizza, you should sandwich it in between different layers of cheese. Because when I put this in the oven, this cheese is going to melt down into the toppings and keep it firmly in place. And you can put Parmesan on here. What do you like on your cheeseburger? Listen, if you like onions and mushrooms and Swiss cheese, then that's what you should make this with. Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope, nope. Rick likes nothing on his cheeseburger except ketchup. That's it. And that's how Molly likes hers. I'm, I'm of that school if I'm eating a, a patty melt. That's my favorite kind of hamburger to make. I don't think I've ever made a patty melt for them, have I? Mm. Not going to now? I'm probably going to have to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can transfer these without too much trouble. Not a problem. Well, that's okay. Shh. Shh. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And in it goes. We're going to bake these for 12 to 15 minutes until everything is brown and bubbly and the bread is a little crispy. We'll come back when it's time to take that out of the oven. All right, let's pull these out of the oven. They look amazing. Ooh, look, at look at that. Okay, now I'm going to let these sit for about five minutes. Look, we lost some mushrooms off this pizza, but oops, they just slid right oh. off, didn't they? Yeah. That's easily fixed. Mushroom slide. Yeah, a mushroom landslide. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Shall I do my best Stevie Nicks? Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> okay, we're going to let these sit for about five minutes. I'm going to cut into them and I'll bring you back and I'll fix you a couple of slices of delicious cheeseburger, French bread, pizza. All right, there you have it. Delicious cheeseburger pizza fresh out of the oven. It's uh, just had a little bit of time to rest so that that cheese won't scald the top of your mouth. And it looks really good. I have to tell you, the ground beef alone is so delicious on this because I cooked off the bacon first and then I put a pound of ground chuck in the pan to brown. I was worried it was going to be too greasy because I bought ground chuck today because it was on sale. And, um, and there was hardly any fat in it at all. It was so amazing. It's just well seasoned and really delicious. So putting it on this pizza, I am I'm sure that we're in for a treat. Do you want to take a bite? Do I? <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh, that's, mm. that's really good. Mm. Bacon cheeseburger pizza. How can you go wrong? I hope that you give this uh, bacon cheeseburger French bread pizza a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. Until next time, we'll see ya. Mm. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!